Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. This is it. This is this, it. This is the nursery tour. This, this desk. Well, not that. Not just that. <laughs> this is a joint room. We're, is, we're finally filming this. We're finally filming our baby's nursery tour. Uh, it is the second bedroom in our apartment. So, of course, we've got our own bedroom. The baby's going to be sleeping with us for six months. And then, um, because that's what you do. Um, and then after that point, I mean, we're still going to be using this room loads, I think, with him. There's like a changing mat and things, and we can have playtime in here, get him used to being in here, but he won't be sleeping in here for six months. So in the meantime, we've also got our desk set up in here because it made the most sense, didn't it? It's also where our internet is, so it's got a nice high-speed internet in our nursery, <laughs> which is very important. So come in. So we've got some new doors fitted recently. They do still need painting, but this is the kind of look for it. So it's this nice sort of liney look. And they're actually all throughout the apartment now, which is really nice. Need to fix this. Yeah, there's still a few little finishing touches, but this is it at the moment. We wanted to film it now because he could come fairly soon, uh, sort of in the next few weeks possibly. So we wanted to definitely have filmed this video, even if it's not like completely finished, but I'd say we're like 99% there, right? Yes, indeed. So let's quickly show you the desk. Get that yeah, bit out of the way, because yeah. this is our office as well yeah, at the we'll moment. Show you this room. it's in the same room. So we've got our internet here. Um, <laughs> There is the internet. There is it. <laughs> That's all of it. Um, I've got a nice little light here. We thought when you turn this light out, it gives a nice little warm glow. If the baby's in here and we need to like check on him or something, we can quickly pop this light on or I don't know. It's just nice to have an option for a lamp, I think, in this room. But the actual light's nice and bright as well. I am so hot. <laughs> really? I'm fleece lining. I think I need to open the window. You open the window. We do have a window. Shall I? I'm, I'm just getting, this isn't a huge room, so I'm kind of holding the camera here. Because if I if I just hold it normally, it it, yeah. I'm just going to show the whole room in one shot. So I'm just going to we're just going to start here. Okay, so then we've got our monitor here uh, with a little stand here just to make it better for our eyesight on our eye level, um, and then just like the usual desk things. We don't need to do an actual desk tour. But we have got our pride and joy on yes. the walls, our YouTube play buttons that we've had fitted. A nice comfy chair and then a little bit of storage just down here. Um, this, mirror, this this curtain actually came with the apartment, but we really like the colour. It kind of goes with the rest of the theme in here. We've gone for loads of neutral colours, loads of like earthy tones, and also a bit of green, which you'll see in a second when we turn the camera around. So we've got a nice uh, nice big window here, but it's actually quite a cool and dark room in the daytime, which I think is really nice. The, the sun is all this side, so this is like the darker, cooler room. So it's not going to be any like direct sunlight blaring into here and it means we can regulate the temperature a lot better as well. Um, so in here we've got a few little teddies bought from friends and family. This one, actually there's really nice stories behind all of these teddies. So this one's from my nanny and grandpa. This one's from your mum and dad. This one is from my sister and this one is from Mike and Nelly um, when they first Aww. found out when we were in Manila as well. So we've also got a baby scan picture just here framed nicely. Um, and then a little abacus here so when we're ready for him to start learning how to count his numbers and do his times tables We can do that. We just thought it looked quite nice on the windowsill We've got a Moses basket here We've still got all the plastic on the mattress and things because we thought that we want to wait until we're actually going to use it <laughs> Are you going? Trying to show the basket Why are you going so low? There you go What are you doing? It's good! You can see the basket now. Um, this is the Moses basket. We probably won't actually have him sleeping in it in here. This is probably going to be... Can you come up? It's so awkward. Okay. Do you think I'm just talking to the floor? <laughs> um, we're probably going to have this in the lounge if we're, say, I don't know, cooking lunch or we're watching TV um, in the daytime and he's having a nap. Um, it just means we've got like a portable sort of more travel kind of cot type thing for him to sleep in. This is from a company called The Little Green Sheep such a cute name so this was gifted to us from them and then just to the right of that we've got a baby bouncer so again when if he's having a bit of play time or he's chilling out with us here um, either in here or in the lounge area we can have that there so um, this is a very exciting cupboard it's you may, really not you may remember this was a hole before but actually our friends built in a very nice cupboard for us this is annoyingly where our boiler is um, it's not too noisy thankfully and under there is purely, uh, you're not gonna be able to see, but a little bit of storage space. We had some comments that, well, brilliant, leave an eye then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we had a few comments saying, 
is it safe to have a boiler in the baby's bedroom? We've yeah. done some research and it, it is. Yeah, we've got like it a carbon just, monoxide alarm in here um, and it is perfectly Yeah, safe. it's not ideal, but that is yeah. that is where the boiler is yeah. in this apartment. And it's a brand new boiler. It's not like, we've had it serviced. It's working perfectly Oh, it's fine. brand new. Yeah. And it, it, it's okay to have a boiler in a baby's room. Like it is fine. I know it's not ideal, but it is fine. So I'm just gonna take over the tour quickly to show you this, which is our son's wardrobe. His very first wardrobe. It's actually nicer than my own wardrobe and the same size. <laughs> he's very lucky, he's got a lot of clothes already. Um, we're gonna open it. We're gonna do the big clothes reveal in a second. But just quickly, I wanted to say that um, the cot, the wardrobe and the chest of drawers slash changing unit, which we'll show you in a second over here, have all been kindly gifted to us from a company called Silver Cross. It's their Bromley range, it's like a three piece range and it's so nice, it's such high quality. I think we actually filmed a clip of us building the cot, right? Okay. Yes, we, we did. We didn't find it, it was, this was a little while ago. We, we, we built this a while ago and then it's just been a mess in here since, so it's now finally like tidy and ready for him. Um, so we'll insert that now quickly. And as you can see, it wasn't difficult to build at all, was it? It was like, the, the actual quality is super nice. Um, even like the handles and things are really heavy. And it's just so nice to have high quality furniture. I mean, it's nicer furniture than we have for us, like George said. Um, so he's already been a little bit spoiled. Can we have some nice music and some sort of reveal here, ready? <gasps> Wait, yeah, maybe move let me that. Move Good, 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 good. Like I said, these aren't staying in here. This is just to show you guys what we've got for him. Okay, ready? Very nice. <laughs> so I, I love looking. Is, we keep. I always walk in here and just open that and have a look. So nice. We've washed all of this as well with like baby detergent and stuff. It's all nice and fresh. It smells amazing. Ready for him. Um, so this is the wardrobe. It's a two layered wardrobe, which is so handy because obviously he's not going to have like long clothes. You only want like the short space and it all fits really nicely along the bottom here. And um, these I found on Amazon. They're absolutely genius. They're little tags that basically say the age of the baby. Oh, where did I take it from? That wasn't a good idea. I think it was here. And basically it means that you don't, that this is all his newborn stuff and this is all his zero to three. So it's not going to be like, he gets to being too big for newborn and we're like, oh, we forgot to put him in this outfit or we didn't like get, get to use and utilize all of it. It also means as soon as we go into the wardrobe, we know where to grab the clothes from that we need for the day. So this is his newborn stuff. There's actually a few more newborn bits we've got, but they're still being washed. So that will take up a little bit more room, but I'll show you a few. Should I show you a few pieces that we've got so far? Like a yeah, few of our favorites? Yeah, a few of your favorites. Okay. Go for it. So this is... Like, I say it's our favourite, but we've got loads of like really sweet, just plain sort of beige and nude kind of colours. And I really love this one. So you'll see like colour wise, we like this kind of colour. Um, this is adorable. This little, I think we showed this in the vlog already actually, this little teddy bear dungaree set, which we love. And this stuff here as well, there's some like really cute jackets we've got for the zero to three. I cannot wait to put them in these. This was from Georgia's sister, Jasmine. Really cute with little bear ears. And then like an actual, like almost like a puffer, like George's puffer jacket, his first puffer jacket. That is the Stacey Solomon range yeah. in Primark. Yes. Yeah, so the, all the Stacey Solomon stuff from Primark was actually sent to us as well, which is so nice. There's so many nice things on there, all like the patterns and stuff. We love, we just love the colours and how it looks in here. Um, we didn't just want to go for like, oh, it's a boy, let's just do loads of blue. We've got greens, we've got reds, we've, we've got yellows, we've got pinks, we've got every colour you can think of, but like quite subtly, I think. Yeah, that green one. I love that one because it says it says kindness, 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 kindness yeah, on it. Yeah, so nice. I really like that. We got this one on Amazon. It's a, like a snowsuit, and I think it's going to be so nice for like wintry walks on the seafront. Little bear ears, and again, it's really puffy and really warm. Um, so this will be when he's ready to wrap up. Then just quickly, there's a few of these three to six I want to show you as well because some really cute bits in here. This is one of my favourites. Love this jacket so much. That's um, going to be like for walks in the countryside, yeah. pub lunches, kindness crew. kindness crew again. Oh and these were from Misguided weren't they? Misguided Kids. They sent us some of their new kids range oh, um, and it's just like washed blue that. tracky set. That's going to match like you if you wear that. Yeah true and then like a brown version. They've both got um, jogging bottoms really really soft as well. Um, so super comfy but really nice. Um, and then we've still already got a few six to nine months we've been collecting so this gorgeous jacket here um this from kim and tom the juicy yeah, one yeah so i love cute. that that's so cool um this little one with the dalmatian on with the love heart you said you were going to show a few favorites and i know you're pretty much showing the whole wardrobe it's a nursery tour and this is the best bit of the whole nursery this wardrobe i'm that obsessed with it 
Um, and then we've also got some other bits down here for things that we haven't actually unboxed yet. Um, so we've got like um, a camera for when he's actually sleeping on his own, but we haven't gone through that yet. We've got a baby carrier from Baby Born again, like the um, the bouncer and this carrier were gifted to us from this company. Yes, um, thank you to Baby Born. Yeah, and look at this little thing here. I love this. I know I showed this. this I don't think so we funny. showed this well enough earlier. It's so cute. This is great. You kind of have to get his eyes right. That's quite <laughs> funny. And the material and the quality of this is yeah. really nice. It's like cellular and it's like really like yeah, really nice quality. Yeah, we'll look forward to that. That is the carrier, just there. But we'll show you all these properly when we actually use yeah, them. Yeah, we will. So, I'm excited to get that out. I think yeah. we should have a practice with that. You'll see these like items being used in the vlogs in the future when we actually use them. But right now, they're just in the wardrobe in their boxes because it just keeps it a little bit neater for now. Um, we've got up here, we bought the um, Tommy Tippy Anti Colic. What is it? <laughs> what do you call that? Sterilizer. Bottle sterilizer. Bottles and sterilizer. We uh, the plan is to breastfeed, but sometimes either I mean sometimes breastfeeding doesn't work out, so we will try to. If it doesn't, we've got this as an option. But also a bit later on, I do some like expressing, and then George can have a bottle and feed the baby. So I always say the baby. <laughs> we need to start calling him by his name, but not on camera yet. <laughs> name reveal coming soon. Um, so we've got that again. We've not unboxed it yet. We don't need to right now, but it's just being stored up here for now. Um, and then in here. This is just full of loads of spare products, spare nappies, um, some cotton wool pads, some detergent, stuff like that. We've also got some storage boxes up here because there's a gap between the wardrobe and the ceiling and we thought, waste of space unless we utilise a bit of some storage. We've got some lovely maternity pads for me, uh, some disposable breast pads and some disposable knickers. So <laughs> this is the most exciting part. <laughs> oh dear. All good fun. Okay, I think that's enough in the wardrobe, so we'll close that for now, and then we can move over to the cot. The cot, is it a cot or a crib? Depends what country you're watching from. But isn't there an actual difference? I don't think so. I feel like one's like that kind of thing, and one's like this kind of thing, but I don't know. This is the Silver Cross Bromley cot slash bed. It's a cot right now, um, and it can actually be raised to different heights, so if we wanted to have it a bit higher while he's younger and he can't climb out, just to make it easier for us putting him in there, we can do, but for now we've lowered it as low as possible. I think it's a bit safer like that and until he's actually in it um, we'll make our decision then and depending on how we feel. We've also got a mattress as well which is really really nice. I love how big it is. It feels like I almost could sleep in here. It's very spacious. So much space, yeah. yeah. And this is also going to turn into an actual bed when he's older. So we're going to have this with us for years and years. Right now we're using it to store our hospital bags which are half packed. You can fill them here. Ready to go and we've grab got, as and when it happens. We've got my bag, George's bag and the baby's bag. So three different bags there. Oh, I can show you this quickly as well. So this bag is very special. This was sent to us from a company called Kerakit London. All of these things I'm going to link below. So if any of you are interested in any of it, you can feel free to check the description. And I believe I've actually got an affiliate link for this so you can get a discount. So if you wanted to check out their range, but they're basically, they're like designer nappy bags or like, what would you call it? A nappy bag? Like a mummy bag? Yeah, changing bag. Changing bag, yeah. Um, it's beautiful. It's leather. It's this nice black with the gold zippers and I just thought it's so handy being able to actually have a rucksack for that kind of thing so if you're out and about on the go it's perfect it's got a ton of compartments we had both of our surnames printed that's not the baby's initials don't get excited <laughs> but it's D'Agostino Warrington um, on there I also got some um, buggy clips with it so this can clip to the back of the buggy so you don't even have to have it on your back if you don't want to and then compartment wise you've got this is the list for before we leave for the hospital. <laughs> You've got a ton of space, you can see, going right down there, loads of different compartments, loads of zip space. It's nice inside, I haven't it's looked lovely, inside. It's lovely, yeah, it's really beautiful. It's really nice. It's really high quality. Um, you'll be seeing lots of this in the future on days out and things like that. Um, but for now, it's part of our hospital bag collection. We have got a collection of bags for it. Okay, so now moving on here, we've got the changing unit slash chest of drawers. This is also a Silver Cross Bromley collection. This part here, you can actually take off. So when he's outgrown needing a changing unit, you've just got a nice set of chest of drawers here, which is not really handy. We just bought a changing mat off of Amazon with this like botanical greens. Um, this is the green wool we went for as well. It's like a nice, would you say sage? Olivey, is it looking yeah, how it is in very, on it is, Yeah, it's pretty accurate. It's yeah. very natural, very yeah. peaceful and calming. That's the kind of yeah. vibe we wanted to go for exactly. in this room. Um, and then in here, we've filled it out already. Ta-da. We've got nappy storage here. We've got some cotton wool pads. We've got some wipes. Kit and Kin sent us some wipes and some nappies. So we're going to try them out for the first few weeks. You get through nappies quickly with a newborn baby. So I think we need to um, probably do a bulk order of that soon. But yeah, water wipes and some nappies. And then in here we've got a selection of different things. This is all sort of um, baby care stuff like the clippers and the hairbrush and the comb and stuff like that. We've got nappy rash creams, we've got pseudocreme, 
we've got some of the mini neo stuff so you guys know i've worked with these on instagram a few times so they've sent over some of their baby range we've got a bath thermometer this is all bath time stuff in here i've tried to organize it as well as possible but it might be that when he gets here it's not a practical order and i'll just arrange it as and when but that, that's how it makes sense for now um then in here we've got loads of um, hooded towels here we've got some we've got some muslins there we've got some swaddle blankets these are from swaddle uk on instagram i love these they sent us the cheetah one and the sunshine one so thank you to them guys really really nice we've got some bibs at the back here some really cute little hats with ears oh, i love that so sweet in different colours um, and then this is all these little baby socks look how tiny they are with little cat faces on and little ears and then in the bottom drawer this is the drawer that we don't open because it's not been arranged yet Ooh. I can't even open it I've actually crammed it <laughs> this is the feeding drawer I'm going to probably organise this soon but I haven't yet this is like breast pump bottles bottle cleaning things like a lot of stuff so you I'm guys gonna, will see that stuff in the vlog i'm just gonna close it subscribe if you it's haven't stressing subscribed. me out for now yeah we're gonna forget that drawing does exist for now okay over here i think before we we just skip past this this is the corbel nappy disposing bin so it's got a little foot pedal down there super handy out the way and it's gonna mean it's less stinky of nappies in here which is good also sent us that along with like some spare bags for it and stuff so it's just so handy you can change them here nappy bin right there nice and tidy nice and neat a little top and tail bus uh bucket <laughs> no bowl baby bath no you don't put him in that <laughs> oh do not that's for top and tail so you you have cotton buds here and water for the top and for the tail oh i, he thought, doesn't you, go in I this. thought he sat in there you dip oh, it here and wipe him good thing i was you listening just, how's he gonna fit in that Oh no, I'm thinking of the other bath thing we have. All right, don't worry, it's all good. I don't know where that is, by the way, the other bath thing. And we'll find it. Um, and then we've got a belly casting kit that I ordered on Amazon, so we'll be doing that soon. I've just left it out for now. This, of course, isn't going to stay on the changing unit. This is a little play gym, um, which we can pop on the floor or on our soft, nice rug in the lounge. This was from The Green Sheep, the same company that sent us the Moses basket. It's so nice. It's all like wooden and natural. It's got the little leather things here. A little, is there a whale? Yeah, there's a whale, a little shell. A little, I see a fossil, isn't it? That looks like a fossil, not a shell. But yeah, really love that. But we've just popped it here now because it looks quite cute. Then we had some shells put up here, which we got on Amazon as well. I think they are IKEA shells. We found them on Amazon. Put <laughs> some little teddy pairs. George's idea was to put their feet through the holes, which I love. Um, and we've got a few books. We want to buy him loads of books, but right now we've just got four or five books there to start his reading collection. But I think that pretty much wraps up the tour. We've got the buggy we need to show you, we've got the car seat, we've got the bedside crib we need to show you. So it's not the end of baby product showing, and I know you guys have been excited to see this, but I think that's going to end this video off now. Have you got anything else to add, George? No, I think we've pretty much we've there. covered everything. That was covered very in-depth. Yes. So thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. All the products that I've mentioned are going to be linked below. We've really enjoyed buying loads of little baby bits, and also a huge thank you to the companies that have sent us these products as well. And the next part is him using all these products. So, so cool. It's so exciting. So if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you very soon in another vlog. Goodbye.